Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Cheese Quest. Today, grilled cheese, because why not? Um, we're, we're going extra super special this time. I, uh, I was camping for the last few days. I did not take the griddle because that's a lot to pack up and I still have to have room for the tent and beer and the whiskey and the bourbon and the beer. Actually, we didn't have any of that. Um, the neighbors did, for sure. Anyway, I'm having griddle withdrawal, so... We're getting a, we're getting funky with it. And I'll tell you how funky in just a minute. Instead of butter, instead of mayonnaise, we're attempting horseradish. Can you see that? I don't know. Look, horseradish. There it is. Um may work, it may be a failure. Don't know until you try. We've also got pepper jack to keep it spicy. We've got Havarti to keep it cheesy. We've got sharp cheddar to keep it honest. I don't know. Keep it something. My lovely assistant, I already made hers. It was butter and American cheese. Um, she's not as adventurous as me, which is okay. She says I'm all the spice she needs in her life. So, you can see the horseradish isn't as consistent, uh, crust is the um, mayonnaise or butter is, but it still gives it a kind of a unique texture. We shall see. Um, I'm using Texas toast again because why not? Cheese and bread. It's almost like having a pizza. Which I may try a grilled pizza cheese or something one day. Who knows? The camping was great. Other than the drunk neighbors. And, uh... Loud, noisy neighbors. Despite the lack of alcohol we had. I just wanted to relax and enjoy it. Not worry about the booze or waking up with a headache or actually I can't remember last time I was hung over. It was many, many moons ago. I kind of outgrow it at some point. Well, some of us do, some of us don't. Okay. Let's turn this off. Almost out of propane. So, yeah, let's see, it's got a, like I said, it's not an even text, uh, surface like the butter mayonnaise. You like my table? This is, uh, it's been buried under the camping equipment, and I couldn't get to it. It's kind of perfect. Ooh. This is cheesy, y'all. And the bread feels perfect. Just gonna 
shot of them. Look how cheesy. Yum. Now we'll have a taste. Hmm. There's still the horseradish, but it's lost its bite. But it definitely gives it a different dimension. Oh yeah, there's the bite. It came back. It was just hiding. It's very interesting. It's like a grilled cheese with horseradish. That's a good blend of cheese. Especially with uh, mayonnaise or butter or ghee instead of the horseradish, the cheeses would, I'm sure, uh, pop a little bit more. But, yeah. It's definitely uh, a cheese sandwich. I'm not sure if I'll use the horseradish again. I might, especially with the mild cheese, to give it some extra flavor if it needs it, but the the, the combination of cheeses should stand on its own, so. Let's see how stringy the cheese came out, which it's very cheesy, so it's kind of awesome. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have a great day. Bye.